Your weather authority brought to you by Dorset Hyundai. Car buying made simple with 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Welcome back, everyone. Nice looking picture there as we look northwest on the Great Post Building Skywatch Network. We'll clear those clouds out, I think, for the most part tonight. Here's what we're tracking. Windy. Boy, you can hear the winds roaring, killing frost for the south half. Dry weather looks like pretty much all week long. It's 51 Ontario. Dew points down to 24 degrees. Look at wind. This is the wind speed average. North, northwest at 23 miles an hour. Pressure falling a bit from 30.04. Lows, eh, 43 over in Paris, 47 Terre Haute, 49 Bloomington and Washington. We'll see if we have new lows by the 11 o'clock show. We record to midnight. And we're going to cool off pretty quickly tonight, too. High, 61 Paris, 62 Paris. Had 64s at Washington, Vincennes, 65 over at Flora, 63. Effingham and Robinson, pretty mild. 46 in Paris right now. Terre Haute 51, go over to Marshall 53. 51 at uh, Casey, down the road 56 at Newton, and uh, 58 there at Olney. Feels like pretty close to the air temp. You gotta drop below 50. So even with all these winds, you don't have much in the way of a wind chill. However, tomorrow morning, you may, or overnight, you may as well. So if you get up early, you may have that to deal with. Winds out of the northwest right now. These are averages, 23 at Terre Haute. Drop to eight at uh, Marshall. Now, the wind gust today, we knew it was going to be a windy day. We had a peak gust here to 45. Terre Haute, 47. 52 in Paris, 54 in Mattoon. You get the idea. Breezy day, and those winds are going to stay up tonight. They won't diminish a whole lot. Wind advisory in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. Now, if you notice this blue shading, south half of the valley, that's a freeze warning in effect from 3 to 10 Eastern time. So, killing frost tonight. Pretty much going to put the kibosh on the growing season. If you're headed out tonight, hang on to your hat. Other than the winds, it's not going to be a bad night. We'll start to clear the uh, skies out. Notice that temp dropping steadily. Oh, by midnight and down to 36 degrees, we may have a new low by the 11 o'clock news. Look at all the clear skies back here to the northwest. Just incredible. High pressure and control of things. A little clipper system up here moving through Michigan. That's what's giving us these strong winds. That uh, wind from the northwest around that low. More rain down here in Texas. Well, when you see a basketball goal almost covered up, that's 10 feet. That's 8 feet of water on the basketball court. Here, you can see the spin of the atmosphere from that low-pressure system. That's giving us the strong winds, but for the most part, we're cloud-free. We'll break those clouds down and get them out of here pretty quickly. Clear during the overnight hours. Sunny tomorrow. The winds will diminish quickly, though. Once that low-pressure system moves away from us, the winds are going to drop off. They'll be light and out of the northwest on Sunday. If you notice, not much in the way of cloud cover out there. You see Monday, maybe a hit or miss cloud comes in. Bigger view of things. Look at all the clear skies. High pressure's in control. That low pressure system quickly ejects off to the northeast. That means as we go through time overnight, the winds will diminish. But the cold air definitely is in place. So probably the end of the growing season for everybody. North half's already had that. South half tonight. Now, with that in mind, Forecast low for the studios is 28. Could be colder in some areas, northern and outlying sections. Patchy frost developing here after midnight, more widespread in the south half. And look at the winds gusting to 35 this evening out of the northwest, so bundle up if you head out. 52 tomorrow, burn off the morning frost, sunny, winds lighten up quite a bit. And as we look ahead, on the extended forecast, 65 on Monday. That's back to normal. Lots of sunshine. Then we cool back down to the 50s and 30s, continue with that cooler than normal pattern. Hey, we're back with sports after this.